Hi, I am Dr. Sham Sharkar. Welcome to my class. Today, I will discuss MO diagram of hydrogen fluoride and hydrogen chloride. Okay, the MO diagram of hydrogen fluoride falls in the category of heteronuclear diatomic molecule. To construct the MO of HF, you must first know the energy order of orbitals of hydrogen and fluorine atoms. If you see the energy of orbitals for 1s orbital of hydrogen atom is minus 13.6 electron volt and the same is for 2sf that means 2s orbital of fluorine atom is minus 40.2 electron volt and for 2px, 2py, 2pz for fluorine atom is minus 18.6 electron volt. So it is clear from this above data that the energy of 1s atomic orbital of fluorine is much much less than for minus 40.2 electron volt. So we will exclude 1s atomic orbital of fluorine in the molecular orbital diagram of hydrogen fluoride because there is a extreme mismatch of energy. Now if you see 2s atomic orbital, 2s atomic orbital of fluorine has much lower energy than 1s atomic orbital of hydrogen atom. So this will remain as non-bonding near the fluorine atom. So it cannot form MO with 1s of hydrogen atom. Okay. Now let's come to the 2p orbital. So there are three 2p atomic orbitals and they have same energy. So among 2px, 2py, 2pz, 2pz atomic orbital of fluorine will combine with 1s atomic orbital of hydrogen atom because they have right symmetry to combine. In both cases, if you see the value of magnetic quantum number that is m equal to 0 whereas in case of 2px and 2py the atomic orbitals the value of m is plus 1 for 2px and minus 1 for 2py. So there is a symmetry mismatch between 2px and 2py with that of 1s of h. So 1s of h will combine with 2pz atomic orbital of fluorine atoms. Okay. So uh, before going to the molecular orbital construction, I would like to note one point here that is G or U notation that means G red or ungi red notation is not applicable because HF is a linear molecule. Now I will show the stepwise MO diagram construction for HF molecule. Okay. Now just watch how I am drawing the MO of HF molecule. Okay. So see First, in the left side, you need to draw one energy axis. Okay, so you must show this energy axis and then you go to the bottom. So, in the bottom, you just write down atomic orbital of hydrogen atom in the left side, that is hydrogen AO, you can write down, or you can write down atomic orbital. Then go to the right side, bottom, that is write down F that is fluorine atomic orbital. You can write down here electronic configuration of both or you may not write down, it's not necessary. But you must write that is hydrogen atomic orbital and fluorine atomic orbital in two sides. And in between them, you need to put the MO that is MO for HF here. You, you have to write MO, molecular orbital, because two atomic orbitals will combine to form MO. So it will be in the middle. So you write down like this MO for HF. Okay. So now we have to put the an orbital energy in the in their corresponding energy order. So first we will write 1s orbital of hydrogen atom and it has one electron that's why I put here 1s1. Okay. Now similarly in the right side you write down just balance cell of fluorine atom because 1s is too far it will not come to our scale in the energy order. That's why we will start from 2s that is 2s2 fluor fluorine atoms and then 2p, 2p5, we will write down like this. If you see the matching of energy levels, see for 1s hydrogen that was 
13.6 minus 13.6 and that for 2p of uh, fluorine that means it was 18 minus 18.6 electron volt so it will be slightly lower compared to 1s so this difference is due to the difference between the electronegativity of hydrogen and fluorine atoms fluorine is much more electronegative that's why its energy orbital energy is uh, much more negative compared to hydrogen atom okay so now now see i have already said that 1s will combine with 2pz of uh, fluorine atom so they will const they will combine and they will form one bonding atom molecular orbital and one antibonding molecular orbital see how they will form see like this so you have to show this bonding molecular orbital and antibonding molecular orbital now you go for 2s so 2s will remains as non bonding i have already said so it it will be like this now you again 2py and 2px 2py and 2px they will be also as non bonding so you just put the in the same energy order so energy of those will not change once once they form mo okay so in this way you can construct mo for hf molecule now if you, you have to put electronic distribution so we have one electron for hydrogen atom and here we have seven electron for fluorine valence cell, valence cell electron so we have total eight electrons so you have to put according to hund's rule so starting from the bottom we will start putting electrons so see so two electrons will be as non bonding in the 2s orbitals then come to the 1s of hydrogen and 2pz of fluorine and they will form one bonding so bonding molecular orbital bmo here two electrons will be there and here we will denote by two sigma whereas we have i have shown that 2s in the 2s non bonding that is one sigma first sigma bond then second sigma bond that's why two sigma then come to the no two non bonding electrons and here there will be four electrons okay so in the two non bonding molecular orbital there will be four non bonding electrons and they they are corresponding to 2px and 2py okay now there will be no electron in the anti bonding molecular orbital because we have already filled up with eight electrons now you have to find out which one will be mo and homo and which one will be lumo so you can see here homo means highest occupied molecular orbital so in the order of energy here you can see 2px and 2py 2px and 2py non bonding molecular orbital that is here denoted by 1pi this is first pi bond forms here so this 1pi level that is non bonding 2px and 2py that is 1pi level is termed as homo here so homo will be 1pi here because here the this is the highest order of energy in which electrons are filled so highest occupied molecular orbital is 1pi here but if you see the lumo lumo is 3 sigma 3 sigma is also sometimes denoted by 2 sigma star because and this is anti bonding so sigma star or 3 sigma here so this is lowest unoccupied molecular orbital so after the homo see first unoccupied orbital is 3 sigma here so 3 sigma this anti bonding 3 sigma will be the lumo here for in case of hydrogen fluoride molecule okay so we got homo lumo and total orbital uh, mo diagram now we will go for the bond order so what is bond order we know that bond order is number of bond electron in the bonding molecular orbital minus number of electron in the anti bonding molecular orbital divided by 2 so if you calculate bond order in case of hf molecule you will get see we have two electrons in the bonding molecular orbital and there is no electron in the anti bonding molecular orbital so 2 minus 0 by 2 equal to 1 so bond order of hf molecule is 1 that means only a single bond exists between hydrogen and fluorine atom 
atom you also know that we have only one bond between hydrogen and fluorine atom and there are see how many non bonding electrons see in the 2s orbital two electrons and 2px 2py 2 plus 2 so total six electron will be as non bonding and they will be surrounded around the fluorine atom so if you see the structure of hf so h dash f and three pair of electrons they are also known as lone pair of electrons so here non bonding electrons are behaving as lone pair of electrons so this is how you can easily construct the at a molecular orbital diagram for heterodiatomic heteronuclear diatomic molecule okay so, so i think this is the easiest way to construct the mo for hf similarly you can easily construct the mo diagram for hcl molecule because they have very much similar molecular orbital diagram except the slight difference in the energy levels if you see the energy of orbitals of 1s hydrogen you already have seen that is minus 13.6 but if you see the energy of orbitals of chlorine atom here we will consider 3s of chlorine is see minus 25.2 electron volt that is compared to much higher than that of fluorine atom okay and if you see 3px 3py 3pz of chlorine that is minus 13.7 just below the 1s hydrogen atom okay so for our convenience we can consider 3s atomic orbital of chlorine atom remains as non bonding as similar to that of hf molecule there it was in case of 2s here so for chlorine atom 3s atomic orbital will remain as non bonding okay so similar to that of hf here 3pz atomic orbital of chlorine atom will combine with 1s atomic orbital of hydrogen atom to produce one bonding and one antibonding molecular orbital whereas 3px and 3py atomic orbitals remains as non bonding just similar to that of hf okay so there it was 2px 2py here we will consider 3px and 3py atomic orbitals which will remain as non bonding in case of hcl molecule okay so i am not going to details step by step step by step construction of hf as i shown for hf for hcl i will just show the total final mo diagram for hcl molecule here you have to careful only the energy level because see 3p level of chlorine atom will be very close to the 1s atomic orbital of hydrogen atom but in case of hf it was much more deferred by uh, see 13 po minus 13.6 minus 18.6 in case of hf but in case of acl minus 13.6 and minus 13.7 so very small difference very small difference so as you can see from the mo diagram so similarly we will write down here 3s non bonding that is denoted by one sigma level then come to the bonding two sigma bonding so there will be two electrons and one pi non bonding there will be four electrons just similar there is nothing much difference except the energy level then come to the anti bonding three sigma so similarly if you try to find out homo and lumo here homo is one pi and lumo is three sigma just similar to that of hf molecule okay so now come to the bond order so bond order also same because here bonding electrons 2 and anti bonding electrons 0 so 2 minus 0 by 2 equal to 1 so similarly only one bond exists between h and cl molecule in hcl so if you see here also three non bonding three pairs of non bonding electron will be there surrounded to the chlorine atom so hcl can be written as h dash cl and three pair of non bonding electrons as lone pair so this is very similar with that of hf that's why i just put together so it will be easier to understand for you okay so this was today's discussion of mo diagram for hf as well as acl molecule so if you like this video just press the like button and who have not subscribed 
my channel yet please subscribe because you will easily receive the updates as soon as i upload new videos okay so thank you so much for watching this video